So this is the end of a not very successful fishing trip. So I didn't get a lot of video. I was going to make it about the fishing, but they uh, they didn't buy it. So uh, a bit lean on that material. But um, if I put something together, if I've got enough video, it'll be uh, you'll be watching it. You obviously, it's, I did get enough to uh, to make a video. All right, we're uh, heading back up the belts and back out to highway. About four or five hours of um, slow going, and then we'll be on our way back home. Thousand k's. All right. Catch you on the next one. Hello adventurers. Well I'm here at Lake Johnson, which is towards Norseman, between Hyden and Norseman in Western Australia, and heading fishing again down to the southeast. So um, this video, I've already done a couple of videos about the trip down there and, and all that. So this one will be um, most likely just about the fishing part of it. So uh, we've got a fair way to go um, to get there. It'll take us nearly all day because um, it's pretty slow, once we, especially once we get off road. But um, yeah, come along and see how we go fishing. And hopefully I haven't jinxed this and uh, we've got something to show. Well, let's get on the road. off um, and get it all set up all right so it's set up everything's set up and we're just going to go take a look at the ocean and see what the conditions are like it's a bit windy down there we'll just take a quick look and uh, see if we go tonight or just uh, settle in for the night and go first thing in the morning We're just looking for um, basically gutters, but there's gutters everywhere through here. It's just a bit windy today, but actually the ocean's pretty well down. The swell's not high. Jace is bringing his car. Might have to let his tyres down a bit more. Oh, we're going to have a look down the beach here and see what it's like. See if we can find some good gutters. Quite windy, we're just looking for our um, home gutter track. It's all different. Jason's up here with, a, with his car. But it all changes, so it's hard to know. Back at camp. All right, I'll show you what I'm using. At this point, I used to use an Alvi, but now I'm using a pen uh, egg beater. Snooted hooks on mono 
just with a triple swivel and down to a sinker clip that also clips up the bait when you cast which I'll show later but that's the rig basically and uh, hopefully that's going to uh, catch us a few fish that's a Daiwa or Dawa I think it's about a 12 or 13 foot rod and I've shortened the butt because it was a, actually a high mount reel I've shortened it to a mid mount reel it's graphite three piece <laughs> I just use a, uh, I just use a, a PVC pipe and my rod holder, and I bang it in with that. Mark has a totally different rod holder. His is a, uh, a metal one. So I will get Jace to back the bike in, and we'll set it up. Jace, yep. just back her in, back and I'll chuck all the rods and everything on for the morning. Oh, yeah. So this is my setup. Rod and rod holder, um, rod holder on the rod holder, baits in the top here, ice and fish will go in there, bait, table, this is the filleting table which is a bit uh, muddy that needs a uh, clean, and then um, gear in the front, so all the uh, tackle and everything goes in the front, lights and rod holders, and extra rod holders on the front if I need them, and that's the rig. Mark's rig is similar but different. Bait on the front on this one, overhead reels in the front, and gear in the back. So gear and uh, esky around the opposite way. The most important part is and he's got his fancy cup holder, cup holder. because uh, mine, when you put it in the front, all the fizz goes out of the beer. And he's got the same, which I copied basically, um, filleting table on the back. And this is his metal rod holder which works really well in the sand here and he fishes two rods so two positions but when it comes down to brass tacks mine's faster <laughs> all right it's the first morning and we're heading out mark's over there getting ready it's a little bit blustery and uh, a bit of moisture jace is there just putting his stuff away and we're going to head out to the beach it's not the best uh, conditions I've been down here in, but it's uh, it's what it is. Alrighty, let's get going. Is that any water? Yep. No, I just want to, just so I can hang on. Alright, All right, home gutter. What do you look like? Oh, good. So we're down here at the beach, it's windy, so I hope you can hear this. And uh, we're just set up. So Jason's there, I'm in the middle, and Mark's over there. We're using uh, mullet as bait, strips of mullet. That's one end of the bait, and we just got uh, strips of it in the esky here. Oh, if I can get it open. There we go, just in the ice. Bike set up there, it's not the most comfortable, but hopefully there's fish. It's a pretty good gutter through here. Here's a one normal hook and one circle hook at the top. Wraps it around and puts on the cotton. Holds the bait nice, presentable. Then hook it up on the sinker. I'll get the wires back on because it's uh, need a hold in the sand. Hook the bait back up on the sinker so it flies through the air better. And I can't cast these things that well, but Mark 
makes it look easy. There you go. And then he runs a uh, metal rod holder. Up on the bike, I run a bait board just to keep the main. This is the um, this is the filleting table, and that's a new addition for this trip. The other bike's got one. I just put the bait up there to keep it all tidy and keep the bait stuff off that filleting board as much as possible. So we've moved down a little way. There wasn't uh, any bites where we were, so we've moved another couple of k's down. Found a bit uh, different gutter, so we'll try this one. I thought you were trying to get it out of the sand, Jace. We got a fish on. Is it a ray or is it a fish, do you think? Can you feel it going dunk, 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 dunk? Banjo. Oh, it's a banjo. It's like a banjo. It comes. There's a ray. That's a nice size banjo, but... Another rig on Jace, another hook. So that wasn't that successful, just one salmon and a banjo shark. But um, we're going to head back and then we might head up and have a look at the cliffs and see what's there. Um, try again tonight. It wasn't that good a fishing trip, we only caught a banjo shark and a salmon and uh, we've just come back to make a coffee and clean up and probably go and have a look at the cliffs later but uh, sun's come out so that's good for the solar I just have three panels, one up there, fixed one and this blanket on this PVC pipe setup that holds it there sort of and um, that seems to work reasonably well it gets really windy it can blow over so you just got to weight it down and then behind here I just have the Jenny set up we can put a battery charger on if we need to so that's the setup right, we're gonna go for a uh, look at the at the cliffs Jason's taking his uh, car so we'll go and see what's down there go beach combing that way? Yeah, I think so. I'll go turn around. So it must be that way. Potential camping spot. It is actually. Can you get through the beach further up here? Yeah, there should be a, like a main road that goes to the beach. I think that was it, just back there though. 
didn't look main enough. I thought it was like a quite a wide opening. Coming up to the cliffs. Just did the run along the beach. So there's a lot, uh, it's a lot different here this time. I think we could get right up to here last time. So there's always a lot of rope and plastics and you can see it all still all here just a small little portion of it. There's another heap over there. And the cave's up in there. This is the view from the cave. Quite a bit of sand, this is where a lot of the nets are and they're all being buried. You can see a few on these rocks. That's uh, pretty well what you normally see. These sorts of nets. And this rock's very craggy so it all gets stuck on. Look at the sand as far as you can see there, that's unusual. None of us have uh, seen it like this before. Alright, went for a walk up there, now just walking back. Mark went for a bit further of a walk. Walk back and make our way on the inland track back. Grab a bite to eat. And uh, get ready for a windy afternoon of fishing. Hopefully with a few more fish. So this is the inland track. up through here so we'll follow this We're going to head off, try fishing. It's a pretty crappy afternoon wind wise, but we'll give it a crack. It'll be a bit chilly later. Just pumped up the tires on the bike, so I never checked them, they're actually a bit low. And uh, we'll head out. So let's see what we can uh, do this evening. Guys, not a very 
cast, but it's blowing an absolute gale. Let's see how we go. It's absolutely blowing a gale. So I hope you can hear this. Well, I'll pull that down. It's absolutely blowing a gale. It's not too chilly, especially dressed up with this. Jason's there, I'm in the middle, Mark's at the end. We haven't caught anything. I've got one bite so far. So I thought I would uh, have a beer and wait and uh, see what happens. But uh, it's so far hasn't been um, very lively at all, which is a bit uh, unusual and disappointing. But oh, that's the way it goes. Hopefully uh, the wind will calm down in the next couple of days and fishing will get better. All right, well, I'm going to drink that beer and uh, watch my rod. Well, just as I put my camera away, Jason's hooked into something. Let's go see what it is. That looks like a uh, nice one. What? Looks like a nice one. Be a mullawa or a little salmon? Salmon. Salmon. but we still haven't uh, done too well on the fish I don't know if you can see the sand there but it's just whipping through the winds quite strong Mark thought he had a big bite he lost the rig mine's just in the rod holder Jason's about to cast in he's actually done the best of all of us so far light so but we're going to um, call it quits and head back it is just a lot of current a lot of wind and uh, not that comfortable so I think tomorrow starting tomorrow it gets better so hopefully uh, that's the case all right we're going to pack up the bike and uh, head back to camp and have a cook up I think we'll have lamb chops and some other stuff all righty see you when we're back there all right this is the start of the full day two and the wind is a lot lower or at least gone for now and um, let's hope the fish are on so we'll head out again and uh, see how we go this morning but it's a, a beautiful morning up here just in this little spot here might be okay we'll see how we go so we'll get set up bang in the rod holder with a hammer otherwise a soft sand will eventually um, tip over you just tap it down to the dry sand and it doesn't move all right we'll get all the rods and everything ready and come back here so we've caught a salmon which I didn't bother videoing and Jason had one just get off so uh, a bit of life here but I'm not a fan of this spot really I don't think it's just a bit too washy but a bit too shallow so it might move uh, shortly. So I'm using a Pen Battle 3. It's actually not a bad reel. Egg beater or thread line, whatever. People call them different things. I still cast it like an alvey because I'm used to the alvey. And I cut the bottom of the rod off. I actually made it shorter. It was quite a bit longer. So I just cut the bottom off. Mark thinks he's got something little. Let's see what it is. Maybe a little mulloway. Good size. 
good salmon. Another salmon. They say if you tip them upside down they don't flick around. Off he goes. Well, that's a salmon. Not worth writing home about, but at least it's something because it's been a bit lean so far. Hopefully it's coming good with these better days and the new moon. Alright, might get mine in, we might move. something out there should start to see it yep there he goes he's doing his salmon thing they scoot along in there there he comes oh got off right there there he is there he is oh. <laughs> no you missed him Not a very good fish wrangler. So I've caught a quits for the day. Mark's putting in one last uh, bait and Jace is um, doing his salmon. Getting some fillets off it. We caught probably four or five salmon four salmon maybe today and throw them back this is one Jay's caught he wants to give it a crack at eating it <laughs> so been back a while um, and just tied a few things up got a few salmon and that's about it today um, Jason cooked one up for lunch but I don't I'm not a fan of salmon but he cooked it up reckon it was not too bad hopefully tonight brings better luck um, it's been Pretty slim pickings until now, but you can see there's a massive thunderstorm brewing, so um, we might get wet. But wouldn't be a trip to Colville without a storm or rain or freezing cold or wind. So might get up on the hill and just see how big that is. Get up this hill and have a look. It's pretty windy. set up we're just in this some um, if you can hear this because it's blowing a gale up here we're in this little bit of a hollow all right we're gonna head back out again in the Savo it's cleaned up after thunderstorms and um, it's still a bit windy but we're gonna head back out and give it another crack Chopped up still. But as long as you find somewhere that doesn't um, pull our bait too far to the right. This morning it was pulling it from to the left to 90 degrees to the right in only a couple of minutes. So we're going to try this gutter because it's quite deep along here and it basically ends just here. So we're going to give that a go. 
sometimes you look for those sorts of formations the fish will come in school up bait fish so we'll give that a go so this is where I head out is going to show you on my rig I use about 50 pound mono leader onto 80 pound braid and it's about 10 meters of mono and I wind that onto the spool and I cut, use that to cast because the braid will cut the hell out of your fingers and um, I uh, use this FG knot which is an interesting knot in the fact that it actually there is no knot in the mono it actually just grips the mono so the mono isn't looped back or anything it's actually just gripped on the outside of the mono and what that does is give it a very smooth um, small knot to go through the guides when you cast so that's how I do it that uh, seems to work pretty well if you want to have a, a joined um, a joined uh, line set up all right let's get out there all right we're gonna move there's a hell of a current in there you just can't keep the sinker in so we'll try and find a better gutter so this this year there's been a hell of a lot of current and even using the uh, wire sinkers, it rips you straight up off the bottom and just sends you around to the right. So the currents are strong here as well. As soon as you cast out, you're pretty well to the right in no time. I'm just about buddy, uh, straight across. So I don't know how long we'll stay here either, but maybe it's the same the whole way. It's uh, it's been an interesting colder trip, wind, current, a bit of rain, and no fish, which is unusual. All right, I better go and get this line. It's just about on the beach up there, so uh, let's get it in. What do you got there, Jace? A salmon? Another one? Is that lunch? ridiculous but it's a game changer when you're fishing down here on the south coast even in the summer it actually gets quite cold and uh, yeah real game changer this and a neck gator and uh, and a few warm clothes and you'll survive but without a good hat and that it gets bloody cold so, all right let's get back to it that's it that current is too strong gotta admit defeat either move or maybe even call it a night but we might have to try something new I'll see what Mark wants to do but this sunset uh, was good before and there's uh, a few clouds that are nice and pink alright it's Wednesday it's supposed to be like the third full day and we're just heading out again the wind is way down so hopefully the currents are down which means a fish should have come back and uh, we might get a couple so about to get on the bikes and uh, head out again to see what it looks like so yeah about time we uh, didn't have so much wind all right let's go See how high the tide was up last night. So we passed some guys heading uh, that way late last night. So I hope they made it through. Still no bites this morning, so it's still pretty dead, even though it's a better day. Jason's just doing his salmon. Catch of the day so far. Oh, and Mark's got the first real fish. Out as a bait. Sounds good. Hopefully it'll catch something. So it's again another lean morning. This is not looking good. 
So we've probably we've moved again since last time I uh, videoed uh, further down, further to the west. It's still uh, it's got a salmon and that's it. A couple of salmon's come in. So uh, yeah, it's uh, been the leanest trip down in these parts that I've ever done, to be honest. But it can happen. The weeds come in, so the wind's good now. I think they, the current's better, but the weeds come in, so can't have. Uh, can't have it too good, I guess. So Jason's over there collecting these little shellfish, little mussels. So I can find one. Here's one. When the water goes away, there's one collecting these things out of the sand. Apparently, they're quite good. How many have you got there? Handful. Is that, a, is that a meal yet? No? Uh, that's alright. Alright, it's time to head off. It's um, been very quiet. Very quiet. So we're back and have some lunch, I think. Alright, we're back down there again. This is the afternoon and this morning was better. In a lot of ways but still no fish so hoping that uh, tonight is the night so we're um, I think we're gonna head s uh, towards the east this time um, I think's the plan so we'll see what we can uh, come up with hopefully tonight we get something on the sand that's uh, worth keeping all right let's uh, head down there All right, this spot, which looks the same as pretty well all the other spots, but there, we saw some bait fish in here um, about midday, which is a good sign. So we'll set up here for a bit and uh, see what happens. So I'll uh, get a line out and hopefully be back on the camera when we pull something in worthwhile. So far, this is... Um it's on shore wind and there's no side current so you can stay right where you need it to be and there's very little weed so it's a good sight and it's looking good so all we need now is the fish to prove that it's a good sight but yeah one of the better uh, fishing evenings we've had so Mark might have a small flatty or maybe a little banjo Little banjo shark. Put him back. There he goes. Oh, well, it's still not a decent fish. I'm gonna get that weed off my line. Good Mulloway? He'll be in the holder, so it's not a baby. I think it's from open oh. Should be a good Mulloway. Tonight might be proving to be a better night. Yes. Oh no! No! Ah, oh, shark! That must have been a little shark. Is it all grated up? All minced? Damn it! Oh! Get back out! Right back at camp and a bit better. I didn't film it because it all happened pretty quick. It was pitch black as well. I didn't get my light out quick enough, but got a small mulloway and uh, Mark got a small mulloway and a small gummy shark. So 
better than what we've been doing but um, yeah they're only small not worth getting the camera out for so back at camp for a roast dinner and uh, try again in the morning and so last night uh, gummy and a small mull away but uh, today we're going to go way up or well, way west um, somewhere in the dunes or past the dunes to see if there's uh, something up there so um, just warming up the bike getting ready to go we'll head off Alrighty. Bit of rain last night, so the sand's got a bit of grip. down past the dunes we stopped at a spot and got one little tiny flathead but nothing of note um, and then we come a bit further down but now it's all weeded out so I'm not even going to throw in for a while I'll wait and see what happens to the weed it sort of drifts across in front of you but there's a lot of it there at the moment but we might we'll probably move soon I don't know if we'll head further west or go back east the last spot actually was really good for weed there was none there Hope, maybe back then, hopefully, but somewhere like that. All right, hopefully we hook into something for uh, for once for this long trip. So while we're up the top, me and Mark went all the way up here. Jason stayed close, and he's cashed in. Pick him up, Jace. Get a bit of a size. Nice one. That'll put a few fillets in the freezer. So we've come back, so we're going to now surround him, see if we can get one. Pretty well cold in the morning. Mark's processing his fish over there from last night, that gummy he caught last night and a couple other small fish. And Jason's processing his uh, mulloway here. Getting ready for cryovacking. So um, yeah, good fish. Should be uh, quite a few meals in that one. Alright, taking a shortcut back. Alright, back at camp. This is a uh, it's one more fishing session tomorrow morning, possibly before we head off. But this is what we call the home gutter. So camp is directly behind the camera, just over the dune. This is called the home gutter. It actually looks really good. So we're going to give it a go and see uh, see if it'll turn up anything. You got something? A little salmon? No. Nice sunset. Mark got another hook up in quick succession. He looks like he's. Oh, is it? Just a salmon. Ah. Just a salmon. Alright guys, this is the end of a not very successful fishing trip. So I didn't get a lot of fishing uh, video, but if I can put some together I will. And if you're watching this, I obviously did. But uh, this is sometimes all the effort you can go to. Thousand k's of travel to not catch much. Uh, and spend a week getting rained on, blowing up the dunes 
yeah, it wasn't a, a real good trip.